Good day, viewers. My name is Mr. Desmond Ademola Joseph. I will be your teacher, I mean your mathematics teacher, for the topic menstruation. And the class we are going to consider today is SS1. Under menstruation, we have some subtopics like length of an arc, chords, perimeter of the sector and segments, area of sector, and area of segment. It is expected that at the end of this lesson, students should be able to one, recall and use appropriate formula to calculate the length of an arc. Second, students should be able to recall and use the formula to calculate length of a chord, the perimeter of a sector and segment, area of a sector and segment of a segment. Now, to today we will focus our attention on period 1. And under that period 1, we will look at the meaning of menstruation. We will also look at the length of a chord of a sector. Now, what is menstruation? Now, menstruation is the process of measuring and or calculating length, area, volume of the geometric shapes. Now, for today, our attention is going to be on a circle. Now, in a circle, we have arc, radius, diameter, sectors, chords, and segment. Now, all these are illustrated below. Now, looking at the diagram that we have here, we have a chord, we have a diameter, we have a radius, we have segment, and we have an arc. And let me quickly give us the definition of these parameters. The first one, chord. What is a chord? A chord is a straight line that divides a circle into two unequal parts. What is a diameter? A diameter is also a straight line that divides the circle into two equal parts. We also have a radius. What is a radius? A radius can be seen as a straight line from the center of the circle to any part on the circumference. What is an arc? An arc is a fraction of the circumference. What is a segment? A segment, like we have it from the diagram, is a shaded portion. We have minor segment and we have the major segment. Now the shaded part here could be regarded to as the minor segment. Now let's look at the length of an arc. What is the length of an arc? Or better still, what is the formula for finding the length of an arc? Or we can also say how can we derive the formula for finding the length of an arc. Now first and foremost, when is when a circle is divided into equal sector with theta at the center, you can compare a part and the whole. Now what is a part? A part, like I said, is an arc that is sector which is represented by theta. The whole. What do we mean by the whole? The whole is the circumference of the circle, which is illustrated or denoted by the whole angle, which is 360 degree. Now that we know a part and the whole, then we cannot take the, the ratio of both, because this ratio will help us to derive the formula for finding the length of an arc. Now, the ratio goes like this. Length of an arc ratio circumference is equal to angle by sector ratio angle at the center. Now, don't forget that the same length of an arc ratio circumference is the same thing as length of an arc ratio 2 pi r. Because that 2 pi r is the formula for finding the circumference of a circle. Therefore, Length of an arc ratio 2 pi r 
is equal to theta ratio 360. We all know that the ratio is the same thing as the fraction. Therefore, we need to convert the ratio to the fraction, which simply implies that length of an arc over 2 pi half is equal to theta over 360. Then from there, we now cross multiply. When we cross multiply, length of an arc, we multiply 360 degree, and that will be equal to 2 pi half theta. <coughs> Sorry. Now, like I said, when we cross multiply, at the end of the day, the length of an arc will be equal to theta over 360 times 2 pi r. That is the formula for finding the length of an arc. Now let's take the first example. Example 1. An arc subtends an angle of 105 degree at the center of a circle of radius 6 cm. Find the length of the arc if pi is given as 22 over 7. Now what is the first thing to do? The first thing to do is for us to write out the formula for finding the length of an arc. Length of an arc is equal to theta over 360 times 2 pi r. Now from the example given to us, there are some information, there are some salient information that we need to take note of. The first salient information here is theta. The value of theta is given to us to be 105 degree. Now, our pi is also given to us to be 22 over 7. In some cases, pi can be given as 3.142. But here it is given as 22 over 7. Also, the radius is given to be 6 cm. Now, those are the information that we need. So, the next thing to do now is that we then substitute the above parameter into the formula above. Now, length of an arc is equal to 105 degree over 360 degree times 2 times 22 over 7 times 6 centimeter. Altogether, that will give us 11 centimeter. So let's look at example 2. Example 2 says calculate the perimeter of a sector of a circle of radius 6 cm. The angle of the sector being 105 degree if pi is equal to 22 over 7. I like us to understand something here. From the first example, we were asked to find um, the length of an arc. And at the end of the day, we were able to get the length of an arc to be equal to 11 cm. Now, here in this example too, we have to find the perimeter of the sector. And I want us to understand that the perimeter of a sector can be seen as the addition of all the sides of the sector of a circle. Now, it is very important for us to be able to draw a diagram. You know, when you draw a diagram illustrating the example 2, it will become more clearer to us. Now, from this diagram, the perimeter of a sector is of three sides. The first side, side AO. The second side, side BO. And the third side, AB. That AB is known as arc length. So the, the, the perimeter of the sector is given as 2R plus arc length. That is the formula that we are going to use or that is being used to calculate the perimeter of a sector. So all we just need to do is to substitute. Since the information needed are given, our R is given to us. But before we continue, we need to understand that arc length is the same thing as theta over 360 times 2 pi r. So, if we substitute, our 2 r will be 2 times 6. Then theta over 360 times 2 pi r. That will be 105 degree over 360 
times 2 times 22 by 7 times 6. Now, all together, that will give us 12 plus 11, which is 23 centimeters. So, today we have been able to look at how to calculate the length of an arc. We have also been able to look at an uh, example under that. Moreover, we have been able to uh, we have been able to know how to calculate the perimeter of a sector and we have also looked at one example under that now it is time for classwork I'm going to give you just one classwork and after that classwork you will also be given an assignment so the, the classwork calculate the length of an arc whose radius is 15 centimeter with an angle 75 degree subtended at the center that is our class work so you do that at the end of the let me just give like about three minutes so after that we'll do the correction and i'm very sure that for those who may not be able to get it don't worry by the time we we'll do the correction it will become more clearer to us so now this is the assignment our assignment is given to us as calculate the perimeter of a sector whose core sustains an angle of 45 degrees at the center with radius 7 centimeter. Please, let's try as much as possible to do this assignment. So when we meet, we will start from the correction to the assignment and once we are done with the correction to the assignment, then we will start with the period 2 and the topic for the period 2 will be length of a course. I want to believe that you have really enjoyed the class today. Once again, I remain your mathematics teacher. See you next time. Bye-bye.